After defeating Wu, we did have a moment's peace. But now Xu has come from the north, leading a large army to attack us. I am sure that this battle will prove difficult to handle. But we have the greatest king of all time, my husband, on our side. The great king of Nanjong, Meng Huo. Now that's a husband a girl can be proud of. Together, we'll protect this land from all those that would try and take it. This battle is different from the others. This shoe is dangerous. They just might see through our weak points and try and set traps to defeat us. I'll deal with the enemies that come straight at us. Dear, you back me up and confuse the enemy. Be sure and go and help any of our allies that need it. King Meng Huo refuses to forgive those that try and take our land. All of you that call this land home, I shall protect you! Let's chew them up and spit them out! We'll go stir up some trouble from behind. These are worthy opponents. So this is to be my final battle. That ought to learn ya. My ambitions left unfulfilled. That ought to learn ya. They're running away! Yaha! Let's push them back! If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them.
is that thing? What's going on? We're supposed to be invincible! There must be someone behind this trick! Find them, and rip out their throats! That ought to learn ya. Behold the power of my juggernaut. Ah! What the? It's spitting fire! If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. Reinforcements are headed this way. Lock up the bases before they come out! Oh, is this the end? That ought to learn ya. That ought to learn ya. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. The enemy is blocking our reinforcements. must long for death. Hey everyone, I made it! You're here without backup? Impressive! Your skills are without equal. Oh, is this the end? That ought to learn ya. You 
You're pretty good, but not good enough! That ought to learn ya. Here's the enemy lines are crumbling. I shall show no mercy. Allow us to let it. Let's go! Join the attack! Damn! It's over already. That ought to learn ya. Did you think you could break through our forces? Trying to take the base! Stop them! Sure had a hard time getting here. You do not require strategy? Oh, is this the end? That ought to learn ya. My intellect will not be outdone by your shallow skill. As a commander, defeat is unforgivable, is it not?
fantastic. Now it's my turn to impress you. Turning back on you, just as I thought. You are skilled, but the advantage is still mine. I don't have time for scrawny little wimps like you. Fail to realize my plans. That ought to learn ya. Victory is ours, sweetheart. You bet it is! Our land is free again! And with all of you by my side? I will be the greatest king of all! Phew! I hope you understand that non Zhong means business now. If you think you can conquer us, you're sorely mistaken. Everybody! I want to thank you for fighting so hard! Yellow turbans, Wu, Chu, they've all fallen before me. Now there are none left to threaten our land. A golden era for Nanjiang is about to begin! It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhu Rong, from the land of Nanjiang. It was believed that she was descended from the goddess of fire. She was known as an aggressive warrior who was an excellent rider and a master of throwing knives. She later became the wife of Meng Huo and aided her husband in his efforts to become the Nanman king. The two made a formidable pair subjugating tribe after tribe throughout the region.
Meng Huo successfully became the Nanman king, but the fighting did not end there. Although invasions from the north by forces like the Yellow Turbans and Wu occurred frequently, Zhu Rong was always there to defend Nanjiang. The ties among the Nanman tribes became stronger with every battle against the invaders. This eventually allowed Meng Huo to become the king of Nanman. However, Zhuge Liang, Nanman's greatest enemy, soon led his army toward their land. Meng Huo marched his forces straight into the enemy lines to stop their advance, while Zhu Rong took advantage of the local terrain and harassed the enemy from behind. The mighty strategies of Zhuge Liang could not overcome them or the people's love of their homeland. Although the land was still engulfed in chaos, it was the least of Meng Huo and Zhu Rong's concerns. The descendant of the fire goddess supported her proud Nanman king, and the two protected Nanjiang together. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. This land, I wouldn't give it up for anything. I'm plenty happy, just enjoying our life together. I guess war does have its moments, but nothing is better than this.